Hi Church, welcome to 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting. We hope you're encouraged and blessed by this morning's devotional. So hey, welcome back to day seven of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Hey, I hope the last six days has been filled with amazing revelation and breakthrough already, but I know God is not done yet and he still wants to work and speak in your life over the next 15 days. And so, hey, would you just continue to press into him more, dig deeper, hunger and thirst more because there is more in store for you. Well, hey, today's area of prayer is open doors for our youth, our students and into schools. And hey, this is something that has been on my heart for such a long time. And hey, I believe that we're going to see huge things happening within our youth ministry. And hey, we're in the city of Wyndham, you know, one of the fastest growing regions in Australia. And hey, I know God that God has placed this youth ministry for a reason, hey, I believe that we are going to see God open doors into our schools, into community organizations, into council, and that, hey, He would use our young people and this youth ministry to be a beacon of hope and light to see scores of young people coming to know Christ in this region alone. And so, hey, as I was praying into all of this, the scripture that dropped into my heart was... Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. And it says this, You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. And hey, I love this so much. This is uh, during uh, Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, where Jesus is calling for us as Christians to be the source of light in this world, to not live our Christian lives in secret, but to live our Christian life in a way that uh, our Christian life in a way that shows our transformation. Because He wants people to see the difference in us as Christians, so that they themselves would come to know Christ. We have all been called to influence people, to bring a message of hope and restoration in a world that is so in need of saving. And we do this by being the light of the world. This is our mantle as Christians. You see, the purpose of life of light is to give direction. And, 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 and hey, when it's dark, a city on a hilltop, it gives light to all direction from its highest point, which actually illuminates the path, showing people which way to go. And so, hey, when we're like a city on a hilltop, we are the people who give that light that illuminates the path, that shows people towards Christ. Again, this isn't something which only I'm called to do or or, 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 or our pastors are only called to do, but this is something that every single Christian is called to do, that we are all called to be the light of the world. And we become the light of the world by first living a life that reflects Christ, His nature and His waves. You know, we need to strive to live a pure life, a life that flees from sin and temptation. Because how can we be the light of the world if we still live in darkness and are consumed by the things of this world? That's the thing. We can't. We cannot live the way the world does. We can't live a worldly life and think that it's okay because we are called to be in the world and not of the world. In fact, we must examine ourselves, examine our hearts, examine our lives and make sure that we are drawing closer to Him through word, through the word and through prayer and, and through prayer so that we would live a righteous life. Man, I want to make sure everything I say, everything I do, every interaction I make, every word I say to reflect the love of Christ. That things like my relationships, my work and my family are pointing people towards Jesus. And so here today, will we make that choice to pursue Him, to get rid of any sin in our lives to free to 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 flee from temptation to ensure that every part of our life is showing Jesus so that we can be set apart from this world to be the light because there is a world out there that is getting darker and darker day by day and the darker it gets the more brighter that we will shine as Christians in this world you know the scripture I mentioned before. It doesn't say for us to do good works that people, you know, would just all of a sudden be, be all, you know, smile and you know, happy and all that. But it says for us to do good works so that people would turn to Him and give Him glory. And that's why we are called to be the light, so that a world that is broken and in need of saving would turn to God and give Him glory, so that we would find people. 
so that we would see people find hope and restoration, so that we would see salvations, so that we would see a harvest of souls, so that we would see revival break out in this nation. Come on, all you... You might know some colleagues or friends who are struggling right now. You may doing, you might be doing things they shouldn't be doing. Who have family issues, relationship issues, and they are trying to find the answers to life. And hey, we as Christians are able to be that source of hope and life and light in their lives that points them towards Jesus. But are we willing to take that step of faith and to be that light of the world? So can I encourage you as you go through life, you know, whether it be at work or at school or at uni, to make the intentional decision to be the light. Whether it be in the small things, in the conversations that you have, in the interactions that you have with people, come on, let's show people the true, the living, the active God in our lives so that they themselves would one day come to know Jesus. Why not encourage someone? Why not smile at someone? Buy someone a coffee, help them out. <laughs> the task. Whatever it is, can I encourage you today to find a way where you can show the light of Christ in all that you do. Come on, it's no accident where you find yourself, but God has placed you wherever you are for a reason. And that is to be, uh, and that is to be a light in the dark places, to bring a message of hope and restoration to those around you. Come on, He wants to use you as a vessel for His kingdom. Come on, we cannot be hidden. Oh, come on, we can't keep our faith this secret. We can't be quiet, but in all that we do, we must let our life shine. Come on, we have to pursue a life uh, that is pure uh, and just flee from sin and temptations and let our changed lives radiate throughout the world so that we would see people come to know Him. God has called you to be like a city on a hilltop so that people would see a life that has been transformed by God and so that they themselves would call upon His name. Friend, would you take that step of faith here today? And so for our youth ministry and hey, and, uh, and attend our students as well, I believe God has called our young people to be like a city on a hilltop for all the youth and the teenagers um, in this region. And hey, this and uh, and hey, I believe that we will be a youth um, ministry that will be a beacon and hope. Uh, sorry, a, a beacon of hope and light for the teenagers across the city of. And them, the young people with all kinds of issues, situation and baggages will come and they'll find freedom that we are going to see one of the greatest harvest of souls that we've ever seen. So can I ask you to join us in prayer that God will open up doors into schools, into community organizations, into councils that we would continue to be a light for young people in this region. Come on. Let's pray. Father God, we just want to thank you and honor you, God. I thank you, Lord, for every single young person. Uh, God, I thank you, Lord, for their lives, God, Lord, that you've just called them, God. And Lord, I pray, God, Holy Spirit, would you just anoint every young person, God, uh, anoint their words, God, Lord, anoint their lives, God, I pray, Lord, God, would they just hunger and thirst after you, God, Lord, would that hunger and thirst after your presence, God, Lord, would they just know you more and more, and God, I pray, Lord, for a, a spirit of boldness and courage, God, to just arise in every single young person, God, Lord, that that would go and be the light of the world, God, to, to young people around them. And God, I pray, God, Lord, that they would uh, know that they are loved and called for such a time as this. So God, I pray, God, would your spirit just fall upon our young people, God, anoint them, God. Lord, bless them, Father. And God, I pray, God, for open doors, God, into schools, into, into council, God, into organizations, God, Lord, that we would see the gospel spread, God, as far and as wide as it can be, God, Lord, that we would see a harvest of souls, God, God, Lord, Lord, that we will see revival break out in this nation, Father God. Lord God, would you have your hand upon everything, God, uh, that we do, God, with our young people, God. Lord, bless them, bless them, God. And Lord, we know that the best is yet to come, God. God, would you light a fire, God, Lord, in our young people. And God, we thank you, Lord, for what is about to happen, God. And Lord, I thank you, God, Lord, for, for, for a generation of, of young people, God, Lord, who are not afraid of the gospel. And God, I pray, God, would you have your way, God, in our church and our young people in the mighty name of Jesus we pray amen well hey church thank you for joining us uh, here this morning and hey would you have the most the most amazing day and we'll see you tomorrow we truly hope that you were encouraged from today's devotional 
Our heart is that not only would you get something from what was shared today, but that you would share this link with a friend or family member who would be blessed by today's devotion or even come to know about the love of Jesus. Have the most incredible day and we look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. God bless.